Swole Benji here. Today I wanted to talk about food crafting, but mainly just crafting travel rations and just light rations because a lot of people are doing this wrong and wasting the good resources. And let me give you a lesson on how to properly cook yourself a meal. So if you open the crafting menu, which by the way, in town, it's like a pot and pans with some forks crossing, crisscrossing. It's called a kitchen. It's not really much of a kitchen, but... Anyway, you open the menu and you and light rations, the very first food item in the game that you want to eat, right? A lot of people, they'll go around, they'll hunt rabbits or kill turkeys or other lightweight animals. And that is how they will create their light rations. Well, that's a waste because game meat and poultry, those are way more useful elsewhere. You don't want to turn those into light rations. What you want to do is nuts. Okay, nuts are extremely plentiful. They're all over the place. They, they track on your compass at the top after you've harvested some hemp, like I think level 10 or 15. Uh, let, let me actually check that real quick. Uh, we're going to go to harvesting and farm plants gatherable at zero, tracked at 20. So just get level 20, takes minutes, and you can see nuts on the ground, okay? And you, you'll find them just running through the jungle. Like, uh, like, like this whole brown area, this entire strip to the, to the east of Everfall is just filled with nuts, okay? I, I can run through here and get hundreds of them, okay? I'm not even joking. Hundreds of nuts in literally, like, just a couple minutes. N not even a couple minutes. A and that's what you will use, like, light rations on, okay? Then you have travel rations, which is something that you unlock later. And uh, a lot of people, like, like, as soon as I clicked on travel ration, this is what happened, okay? A lot of people don't know there's a drop-down menu. It just defaults red meat and corn for a travel ration. Well, corn is hard to get, right? But these are drop-down menus, okay? You can actually change red meat to something else, but red meat for me is easy to get because you go kill like level 6 wolves and you get meat. Uh, I don't want to use carrots. Carrots are way more useful elsewhere. But you get the point, right? But corn, oof, no. You click that menu. Look at this. It opens. Check it out. Honey. Did you know that honey is free? A lot of people don't realize this. In every single town in the game... Well, I, hopefully this is not just a beta thing. In the town square. By the way, uh, this is like a meeting area for people to mic spam. So, just, uh, just, just beware. You see these little honeycombs? Look at that. You can go here and you can hit take honey. Every, like, 20 minutes, I just got 18 honey. So, completely free. I don't know what that guy's talking about. And, uh, yeah, so I can go make travel rations with red meat I got from skinning animals and from honey. Isn't that sweet? That is really cool. That is really awesome. That is, it's basically free. And another thing, too, with light rations, some towns, not all of them, but some towns have milk. They have a cow in the town square, and you can run up to it, and you can milk it for, like, 20 milk. And that is 20 free light rations right off the bat at the very start of the game. Okay, same thing goes to the craft ingredients here. Uh, you can pretty much use just about any food in the game that you would want. You don't want to, like, obviously I don't want to use my legendary fish to craft a, a travel ration. It isn't going to do anything for me. I won't get a sudden bonus or a secret level up or nothing like that, okay? Uh, so, another thing that people don't know about cooking is that, like, your raw materials can be refined, okay? Like, stop using milk for thing. I know I just told you you could use milk for light rations, but later on in the game, milk is actually pretty darn good because you can use milk to make butter. All right. You can use milk and yeast to make cheese. And then you could use these to do those board quests and and craft more fancy pants food recipes. Now, food recipes are hard to come by, okay? You kill mobs, you loot chests, sometimes you'll get a recipe like I'm the only one on my server right now that can cook uh, fried chicken. I'm not. I'm not joking. Literal fried chicken. It's in here somewhere. Uh, I. I don't know where it's at. Dang it! Come on now. I was just talking about you. Did did it did, did it glitch out? Yeah, it's like uh, deep fried poultry or something on here. Uh, I'm 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 so cross-eyed from playing this game like 18 hours a day. <laughs> Uh, but you get the point. Like, once you find special recipes, you'll be the only guy that can craft it. You'll be the only guy that can craft it for quite a while, because recipe drops are extremely rare, except for, except for furniture. Furniture drops are pretty dang common. Um, but anyway, that's 
basically it for food crafting. Now here's another thing like seasoning blend. Hey, guess what? You can use honey. Honey's free. There's no reason you should never use honey in everything. Okay? Now, like rare ingredients. For instance, uh, this is speculation. I don't have proof of this claim that I'm about to tell you. So take this with a haha <laughs> grain of salt. Am I right, guys? The the area that you harvest herbs from will have different herbs. So I've been spending a lot of time in the top right of the map, and I've been getting a lot of oregano and mint and rosemary. But when I spent time in the bottom left of the map, I was getting a lot of cinnamon and I and peppercorns, I believe. Um, but yeah, so I believe that depending on where you harvest herbs, and for those that don't know, uh, just, just to show you real quick what an herb is, hopefully someone hasn't taken them, but there's some herbs right outside the door here. They are these little purple plants, and yeah, someone got them. Maybe there's one left, just in the bushes. Uh, there's not. Normally there's herbs here. Um, they're like little purple plants, they're about yay high. And uh, they have random spices in them sometimes. And that's the only source of spices in the game currently. You can't go to like a peppercorn farm and get peppercorns. You gotta harvest the, the herb and you'll get a random spice sometimes. And uh, because of that, spices... I don't know if you, if you realize this, but back in the ye olden days, which is when this game takes place, maybe not that old... Uh, spices were expensive. It was for rich and royalty, right? And and in this game, spices are incredibly expensive. They they are the number one highest selling item, literally in the game right now, for bulk because everyone needs spices to make these concoctions so that they can do their board quests and they can level up quicker. So that that's cooking in a nutshell, nutshell, literal nutshell, right? Uh, a lot of these things are kind of wasted, like seasoning blend for fish bait. This barely helps you fish. You should never, ever do this un unless this bait lets you catch an epic special fish. There's no reason you would ever waste the materials to make seasoning blend, okay? I mean, yeah, seasoning blend is you get the one freebie with honey, but these other spices are worth so dang much. Like, I can sell one garlic for $300. It's so dumb. It's so silly, right? Uh, so, there was no reason I should mix a garlic with a saffron. Saffron's like 70, 80 bucks on the market. Why would I ever do that? That, that would be so dumb. Uh, for a fish bait that I can go out and pick on, I can go open bushes and get better bait. I can literally just spam use on bushes and find bait that is way higher tier and more useful than this. And this even costs meat. Look at this. It, w what if I click Sumptuous Rabbit? This thing is super ultra rare. You Rabbits never drop this, ever. Like, this, I think there's one on the market for 10,000 right now. You ever see that episode of Sword Art Online where he finds the super rare rabbit and kills it and then they, they eat it? That's what this rabbit literally is, okay? Why would I ever make a, a, a bait out of it? That would be stupid. That would be wasteful. That would be throwing away your resources. So you gotta be careful when you craft. Now... Another thing, too, is when just crafting anything, like, it'll default to the next material in your list. So, say I used game meat to craft a bunch of rations, and then I just, I wasn't looking, and I hit craft again. It's going to default to poultry, then it's going to default to nut, which would be fine. But we don't want to default it to pork or fish fillet, because, like I said, there's way better things with way better experience game that you, you can create. So, yeah, be careful when crafting, and th that's just my overview of crafting, or rather just cooking in general. So, I'm Swole Benji. thanks for watching, as always, be a bro and stay swole, leave a comment and a like, do both, do them right now, I'll still be here rambling, if you do both, it's an algorithm cheat code, okay, it's like a YouTube combo, it really helps out, and 72% of you aren't subscribed, I don't know what the deal with, with that is, but hit that subscribe button, it's completely free. I make a video every single day, and I haven't missed a day in half a year, so please subscribe. It really, it, like I said, it really helps out. Are the, are the herbs back yet? Oh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, they're here. Check it out. And the, these look a little more flowered than usual, so I'm just going to yoink one and see what we get. We did not get anything out of that. Come on, give me the spices, man. There's basil. No, I don't want the rock. Jeff Basil? Jeff... <laughs> Flint. See, we got Nightcrawler bait by picking up the flints. Why would you ever craft bait? There's sage. Alright, we got basil and sage. 
See? There you go. I can go sell that for like a couple hundred right now. Easy. Easy money. All right. That's the video, lads. Take care. When my character reaches the gates, that's when the video ends, okay? Right when I pass through the gates. And... Boom.